Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over how to drill a hole and then tap it. We're going to just we're going to hand tap it. And we're going to drill on the drill press for this project. Um, before I get too far, I want to kind of go over the the tap chart. Um, for us right now, it's located behind the CNC machine. That may move around. It's going to look a heck of a lot like this, okay? It might be this exact one for another couple years, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. We're gonna do all of our stuff for a half inch hole um, and like a half inch by 11, or no, I'm sorry, half inch by 13 threads. And um, so let's go ahead and zoom in and I'll show you which drill bit and how to find it, okay? We're gonna start and we're just gonna talk about um, all of the different sizes right here. And then we're gonna kind of finish where we're gonna talk about um, the half inch by 13 right here. And we can see which drill bit we're supposed to use, okay? So what we're going to do is on this right side, this is all of our tap sizes that we could possibly use. Notice it's going to give you an incremental measurement and then a threads per inch. Okay. So let's say we wanted to do this um, 3 8 by 24 threads. Well, all we would do is we would kind of take our finger and slide it sideways and we would see whichever drill bit this lined up with. Notice that this one is lined up with a Q. If you have a drill bit set that is a, uses a Q, um, you can use that drill bit set. It's a very specialized drill bit set. We don't have one in our classroom. Notice over here, they even have numbers. So sometimes it could be a number, sometimes it could be a letter, or sometimes it could line up with a, um, a fraction, okay? Now, if we landed on this Q, say we're gonna do this 13 by 24, we would go and look to the next bigger or next smaller, whichever one it was a lot closer to, okay? Now, I would go to the next smaller, this 2164, just because of the difference in measurement from here to here, okay? Now, if we were gonna do the half inch, let's go ahead and we're gonna come down to the half inch by 13, and we're just gonna slide across, and we're gonna see that it lines up perfectly with 2764. So that would be the drill bit size we need to be doing. Now remember, when you're drilling out a hole, you're gonna make sure it's smaller than the size you wanna tap it to. That way you can cut the threads into that outer wall. Again, if you wanted to do like a, a let's say like a seven or seven sixteenths by 14, we would just take and slide our hand sideways and we would see that it comes to a U, which is in between this 2364 and this 3 8. I would go with this 3 8, again, just kind of looking at how close the numbers are. Um, but that kind of sums up how to use this chart. If you do need any help, please come grab me and we'll go over it, all right? Okay, so now I got you here over at the drill press, and I just want to kind of point out a few things before I get started. Um, this is your on and off switch. You got your um, RPM sp speed rate, <laughs> RPM rate uh, adjustment knob right here. This one goes don't, only goes down to about 600 RPMs. It's a little bit fast for doing a half inch drill, uh, drill bit, but we're gonna try to try to make it work, okay? And then we're gonna have our leather lever that drops down our quill right here. We also have, if we go ahead and drop this down, we also have our, our vise and our chuck, okay? We're going to be using that 2764 drill bit. We're gonna be using lots of oil. Never can have too much of that when you're drilling or tapping. And we're gonna use just a piece of half inch bar stock. I think it's about an inch and a half wide, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead, throw this into the, the vise right here, and we're gonna go ahead and drill it really quick, and then we'll get started tapping it. So before we begin drilling, we want to make sure we use this chuck key and we tighten our drill bit in the chuck, go around to all four holes and give it a quick tight. We're going to go ahead and flip it on, see, moving, we're going to come down, put some oil on that. Now let, main thing is to let the drill bit do the work. So I'm all the way through. Go ahead and we're gonna pull it out of the, this vise and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move it over to this vise and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to hand tap. So I wanted to take a quick second. All I'm doing to put the into this vise is I'm just gonna open up the vise and I'm gonna put it in there in such a way that I can, that'll hold it nice and tight. Crank it down, all right? 
All right, again, lots of oil on this. You can never have too much oil when you're tapping. Uh, a lot of times if you break a tap, it's usually because either you've bottomed it out into a blind hole or you didn't put enough oil on it. So we're just gonna set ours right here. I wanna show you a few different styles of tap handles. These are the two styles that we have in the shop right now. Uh, this one's kind of more used for on the mill and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with this one. Uh, you're welcome to use it if you like it, um, but this is probably the, the average tap handle you would get if you bought a set or something like that. All right, we will be using again that half inch by 13 thread. We can see we pull it out here. Ours is a starting tap. Because our project is, has a hole that goes all the way through it, we're gonna go ahead and use the starting tap all the way. Now you remember we did talk about all the blind taps and different spiral taps, things like that. In this video, we're just using the starting tap because we can go all the way through and we don't have to worry about those threads getting to the bottom of the hole. We're gonna put it into the square, or the square end of the tap is gonna go into the, the holder. You see, you should have something that looks or resembles this when you're done. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put a bunch of oil all around the hole and on the tap. Now, the main thing you wanna work on right now is just keeping this square. And I'm gonna to try to have my arms out of the way, just straight up and down, So, and we're gonna go ahead and start spinning it. And you're gonna see, as you're going along right now, you can start feeling that it's grabbing and biting a little bit. Now, for these first few, I like to give it a good about turn, turn and a half, and then we're gonna back it, break the chips off. Go forward about half a turn, back, and then we're gonna go back to where it's tight again, forward, back. Keep breaking those chips, keep working it back and forth, okay? Again, if you get too much of a chip load on there, you could potentially break that tap. It's not that hard, to, or it's not that easy on a bigger tap like this, but if you start getting to anything below a quarter inch, I would uh, definitely spend some time and uh, you know, go forward, go back. You wanna make sure that you're always working on trying to keep this thing nice and square to the part that you're working on. It is very easy to tap into a hole and have it crooked, okay? And all we're gonna do, is just gonna keep working back and forth until we get all the way through. Yeah, see, so now you can spin it by one hand here. What I do is I usually just run it all the way through, drop it off of this. You can, should be able to spin it by hand. Come out the bottom, perfect. Set these off to the side. And I'm gonna try to show this the best I can on camera. Can you see those nicely cut threads right there? We'll go ahead and we'll grab a bolt and I'll show you how nice they fit. Okay, so now we got our half inch by 13 thread bolt. We're gonna fit it in there. Right now, I would take the time to really wipe off the, the area around it. Cause if you get any chips in there, it could cause some problems with that, those threads and don't wanna just bind up in there and that could easily wreck those threads. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll put our bolt in there. All of these, these bolts after you've just tapped these holes should all be nice and hand tight or not even hand tight, should be go right in, okay? If it is fighting you and you have to use a wrench to get it in or force it in, there's something wrong with the tapping job that you did, okay? So just uh, you maybe at that point you just rerun the tap through it. Maybe you just look at maybe what you could have possibly done wrong, if there's something wrong with the bolt, if there's something wrong with the threads you did, something like that, okay? Um, otherwise, that's pretty much everything on how to do hand tapping without the use of a live center or a spring center or, some, or a mill or anything like that. That's really the, the most basic way of tapping a hole, okay? So if you got any questions or when you get to this project, please let me know. I'd love to come out and I'll show you some more if you need me to. Remember, lots and lots of oil. That's the easiest way to break one of these things, okay? You guys go ahead and continue on.